Bell U.S. indices jumping on Wednesday, helped by shares in semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, tech, hardware and equipment, and software and services sectors. Advancers ahead of decliners, 85% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher yesterday. Now, after the market closed, Costco Wholesale reporting third quarter EPS of $1.17 versus $1.07 last year on revenue of 1% year over year. And Valen Pharmaceuticals International announcing its wholly owned subsidiary. Salix Pharmaceuticals has received approval from the U.S. FDA for Xyphenx 550 milligrams for the treatment of IBS-D. Now, turning overseas, Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei up 0.39%, the Hang Seng down 2.23%, while South Korea's coast be up 0.16%. European indices, they are flat in U.S. futures, calling for a soft open. Earnings releases expected today. Avago Technology, second quarter EPS seen at $2 a share on sales of approximately $1.6 billion. And GameStop, first quarter EPS seen at $0.60, cents, and that's due out after the market closes. On the economic front today, 8.30 in the morning, initial jobless claims figures, as well as continuing claims. And regarding the trend on indices, Trading Central says the S&P 500 sees a continuation of the rebound. The contract breaking above a declining trend line, the contract also trading above its 50-period moving averages. A further upside is expected, preferring long positions above 2,095 with targets at 2,132 and 2,145 in extension. And the Nasdaq, that's on the upside, preferring long positions above 4,491, while the Dow Jones on the upside as well, preferring long positions above 17,960.